Hello all, welcome to session 77 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I'm going to explain about top-down integration testing approach. So let's get started. In one of the previous sessions, I already explained about the integration testing and also I mentioned the different approaches we can choose for performing the integration testing like Big Bang integration testing approach, then we have top-down integration testing approach, then bottom-up integration testing approach, and finally the sandwich integration testing approach. In this session, I'm going to explain about this top-down integration testing approach. So what is that top-down integration testing approach? In top-down integration testing approach, we'll start with the top-level unit, okay? We'll start with the top-level unit. We'll start integrating this top-level unit with the low-level or sub-level units like this. Once this uh, level is completed, then we'll integrate this level units with other sub-level units. Okay, it, the process will continue. It's like top to down, top down integration testing, right? We'll keep on integrating the units starting from the top level to the low levels like this. This approach of integration testing is known as top down integration testing approach. Okay, this approach where you are integrating the units from top to down is known as top down integration testing approach. So let's say there is one unit which is not ready. Okay, let's say one of the unit is not ready. This unit is not ready, but other units are ready. What you will do in this case, developers will add some steps, guys. Okay, if the real unit is not available and still you want to integrate, then developers in this case of top down integration testing approach will add something known as stubs. Stubs are like dummy, okay? Dummy units, they are not real units. These are dummy units or programs are temporary code, you can say, which you can use for continuing the integration. So you did a lot of work and only because of this single unit is not ready. You cannot stop the entire work, right? Entire integration cannot be stopped uh, just because one of the unit is getting pending. So to continue the integration from top to down, if one of the unit is not ready or uh, it will take more time than expected, then what the developers will do in this case, developers will create something known as stubs, which are like dummy code or dummy units or temporary code kind of things. They'll, they'll put these stubs here in this place of the non-ready unit and will continue the integration guys. Okay, it will, they will continue the top-down integration for integration purpose. So hope guys you understood what exactly is this top-down integration testing approach. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.